Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am recording my video with my tips and tricks and product reviews for the fall 2019 edit sale. I am sick so please forgive me uh, for looking this way. I find, I'm i in bed. I finally sat up to do this. If you are new to my channel what I like to do is I go and I record my computer screen and I show you all of the things that I do that help me pare down my cart on and I show you I, I do some reminders on some tricks for the edit sale how to navigate so particularly if you're new to FabFitFun you might want to stick around uh, and then I go through and I show what I selected for my cart and then I go through as much as I possibly can that's available and I tell you what I remember from what I've learned from reading reviews and hopefully it will help you. I have a big announcement. I had a positive pregnancy test yesterday so I wanted to share that with you because some of what I'm not purchasing is based on that so I may end up mentioning that in the video. I'm very excited. If you've been following me for a while you know that I had a uh, miscarriage back in February so fingers crossed that this one sticks but I very and I think that that's why I'm feeling under the weather so it's actually kind of a good thing also I wanted to say that I am pretty excited to see that FabFitFun the products that they have available a lot of them are newer it's hard to find reviews but I'm noticing that they're starting to lean toward women-owned companies that are up and coming that are non-toxic, that are cruelty-free, a lot of them are even vegan, and so I really, really appreciate that they are doing that. So yeah, let's get into recording my computer screen. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen. This is my cart. I have currently $409.99 in there. I'm trying to get it down to $300. I have about $70 worth of Christmas presents in here. Maybe a little more. We'll see. I'll show you. <laughs> okay, so first I want to start off with some tricks on how to navigate the actual sale website. So the first thing that I wanted to show you was a lot of people come in here and they see that things they want are out of stock and you may or may not hear this term that is used in the community forum but they call talk about the refresh game so if there's something that you have you want that's out of stock don't give up you sh what what we do <laughs> in this community is we favorite that item by clicking this little heart right here so i'm going to favorite a few things and then if you want to see if those things are available instead of having to scroll through all of the stuff in the sale all you have to do is favorite the item that you want and then you check it periodically periodically to see if it's available by going to my favorites up here so i'm going to go over to my favorites and you'll see that they show up here so for instance these are a couple of favorited things that are out of stock right now so if i were to refresh my favorites page when they came suddenly oops that's not what i wanted when they come back in stock, when somebody drops it from their cart, it'll show that there is one available and it will pop up and show as available in your favorites and you can hurry up and go and click add to cart. Hopefully you can do it in time. It's kind of sad how exciting that feeling is when you snag what you've been waiting for once it's come up in your favorites. Uh, but yes, and I highly recommend if you're feeling discouraged in the last hour or two of this sale, a lot of people go in and they just dump a whole bunch of stuff from their carts that they've been holding on to. So if you're having no luck, I definitely recommend trying to uh, grab stuff, grab what you're looking for during that time frame as well. So there's that trick. And then the next trick is if you're on the fence about getting something, I recommend checking out this last call section. Although it's not at always accurate, I have seen things in last call that actually do show up in future sales, but they're a little bit less likely to show up in a future sale at least anytime soon if it is listed in this last, last call section. So check out the last call section. If it's something that you're, you're on the fence about and it shows up in the last call, then you know you may not have another opportunity to get it again in the near future from FabFitFun with their sale price. So you might want to go ahead and spring for it if you see it here. So those are the couple of tips that I have for navigating the sale. Now I'm going to show you um, 
some things that I do to pare down my cart. There are a couple of things that I do. One is I check to see if an item is cruelty free and I will show you how I do that. The next thing that I do is I check the ingredients to see if there's anything glaringly toxic or something that has become uh, something that I personally am trying to avoid uh, just because of the more I learn, etc. or something that's personally not working for me. Um, and then the next thing I do is I check out the company's website. I look at their about page and I see what they're all about a lot. Like I said in the, my intro to this video, it's really nice to see that FabFitFun is more and more choosing to partner with companies that are about something that is really positive, which is cruelty-free, non-toxic, and maybe even vegan, and maybe even a portion of their proceeds go to charity. So that's really exciting to see that uh, becoming an increasing trend in their sales. Um, so the way that I check if something is cruelty free, let's just take this first thing here. This is AG hair. I'm a big fan of this line of hair products. Um, so I will just take this, I'm going to copy that and I love cruelty free kitty. It's cruelty-free-kitty.com. There is a link to this website below in my description box. There, the, uh, woman who maintains this is, is really on top of it and it doesn't, she doesn't cover everything. There are a lot of brands that are in this sale that aren't on here because they are so new. It's not on Cruelty Free Kitty's radar yet, but, um, you can go to those brand sites and, and see if they make a statement as to whether or not they are cruelty free. So I'm going to paste in the AG hair in this search box that was right on the home page that went more quickly than I expected it to. There's a search box right on the home page of cruelty-free-kitty.com where you can put in a brand. So I put in AG hair. It comes up as cruelty free. Something else I like to check is if there's a the parent company. So AG hair is not owned by a parent company that is te that tests on animals. So an example of a company that is so living proof. I talk about this a lot and it's because I'm really sad because I really like the living proof products, but I've decided for myself not to purchase from companies that are owned by a parent company that tests on animals. So living proof itself, that line of products is cruelty free they aren't tested on animals but they are owned by Unilever and Unilever is not cruelty free so that would be an example of when that would happen and then there are also sometimes and it's not listed for this brand but sometimes she will also note whether or not a company is vegan so if you're looking for vegan products you can sometimes find that information here as well there are others this one happens to be my favorite there are other resources this one happens to be my favorite there's PETA there's ethical elephant uh, but a uh, logical harmony is another blog site but this one's my favorite it has that search engine right on the home page and she stays really on top of current news with cruelty free and brands cruelty free status and brands you know what I mean <laughs> um, and then the next thing that I do um, oh <laughs> so I meant to talk about this in my tips for just navigating the cell. This is the FabFitFun community forum. You get here by going to the FabFitFun homepage. And then there's this community button right here. And you just click it and it goes right into this message board where people can go in and just talk about anything really. You can start a thread about anything. And... Um, I follow the threads that are created for each sale. However, there isn't a lot of activity for this sale. Usually there are a lot more uh, comments going on. This one, I'm behind. I got sick and that kind of threw me off. But uh, yeah, so there's this one. This is a sale. Uh, uh, this is a thread that the company actually always starts, where customers can go on and they can ask a representative from FabFitFun. This sale, it's this uh, Megan Satterfield is the assistant merchandiser that is on and juggling all of the questions on this thread and. Uh, yeah, so there are, if you have a question, you can go on here and you can ask it, or it may have already been asked. You can do, you can use this little magnifying glass right here to search, to see if, um, search some keywords regarding your question, or even just search the product you're curious about and see what comes up that might've been already talked about. That way you, um, it might already be answered what you're looking for on this forum. 
so I meant to talk about that before I got into the tricks that I would, um, uh, that I used to pare down my cart. So anyway, back to the tricks that I used to pare down my cart. The next thing that I do is I check ingredients. And the ingredient checker that I like to use is uh, SkinCharisma.com. It's right here. Uh, so here is the URL right there. You can even create a login for yourself where you can tell it which products you like and which products you like to avoid. I'm not going to, I meant to log in before I started my video, but it doesn't really matter. But it's really neat if you wanted to start um, an account for yourself. You can really play with this site. I, I, I learned that it was much more robust than just checking for uh, ingredients. Anyway, so it's skincharisma.com and you go to this cosmetic analyzer and you click that and then you go here to this little text box and you go and you grab an ingredients list. So I'm just going to take this AG hair one and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over to Skin Charisma and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to hit analyze product and then it comes up with this list and it comes up with two ratings. So it uses environmental working group ratings and uh, cosmetic ingredient review ratings. And those are two websites that I will show you, but you can look down and see if there is anything that might deter you from wanting to use this product. So that's really, really amazing. Fragrance is always rated really poorly. Uh, fragrance, a company can put fragrance in and they don't have to tell us what is in it. So uh, this product, this is a natural product and it even has some things that are coming up as not so great. And then there will be conflicting reviews by these two companies. So it's not a perfect way to check. So here it has an A from CIR and then a four from EWG. So I would actually end up going and doing a little search on this, just that ingredients it, ingredient itself to see if I could find more information about why it's uh, why there's conflict there and what exactly is it could be harmful or if it could be harmful. So, so when I need to dig a little deeper, I do end up just searching the ingredient. So the EWG, you can, they have their own website. Where did it go? It is right here. They have their own website that you can go to. This is it. And you can check on, they have consumer guides. They have all kinds of stuff. I have heard conflicting opinions about the uh, validity of the information on this site. So take that for what it is. And then there's also uh, CIR cosmetic ingredient review. This is the other one. And I have never heard any conflicting reviews. And I actually, this one's actually talked about much less frequently than EWG. So those are other two other resources that you can use to check your ingredients. And then that is, uh, that's about it. And then we will go to some company websites and I'll show you what I do to learn more about the company websites. But let's go look at my cart. So those are the tricks I use to pare down my cart. And I check for cruelty-free. I check for ingredients that I want to avoid. And uh, so here it is. Here is my cart. I Like I said, I've fallen, fallen in love with this AG hair line. It is wonderful. They have a curly hair product that is just excellent. And they, in 2017, started this line of natural pro products. 98% uh, plant-based, so almost 100% vegan. I'm not sure if it's 100% vegan or not, but leaning that way. This was a surprise to me. I looked it up, and it had a whole bunch of really amazing reviews, so I absolutely am curious about it. I would like to get it. 286 reviews on their website and almost a solid five stars. And it got, it's, um, it's got all of, all of those things that I love. It's botanical. It's, uh, here, I'll show you an about page. Let's get to an about page. Our values. Let's look at our values. Honest, wild, beautiful. That's so cute. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, we always have workers' wages, the environment, and outstanding quality on our minds. So this is this is something that I would read about a company. So I read about this. It's sustainable. It's cruelty free. It's all of those things that matter to me. So I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. It has a go in and read the reviews. Yeah. So Dermalite products, they really work. They aren't so. They aren't so great about. They have. They sometimes have some ingredients that I shy away from. But I am curious about this Ridge Feel It Filler. I love doing my nails. I yeah. So I'm curious about this. It's five dollars, and I have known Dermalite products to be kind of effective. I well. I can't say that. I used one that I thought was really effective. It was their neck cream. It was amazing. But then I discovered it had parabens, pegs, and I think a formaldehyde waster in it. So I won't be using it again. But I did see a difference in my turkey neck when I used that. So I'm excited to try one more thing by them that will go on my nails and not my skin. Uh, and then I have been curious about trying some sort of tanning thing. This has some, this has okay reviews. It has, I would say, on average, four star reviews that I saw online. But it just seems like a simpler way to try self tanning than all of the other products that I see that look like such a process. This one, you just add to your moisturizer or your body lotion. And you can add the more tan you want to be, the more drops you add. So I'm I'm interested in this. I, I think it's just gonna be a fun little thing for me to try. I've never done that before. I like Levito. Levito is an Israeli company, and they are cruelty free and vegan, and they do tend to have better ingredients. So I'm getting and and I just mentioned my turkey neck, so I'm gonna try their nut cream. Uh, I like their foot cream a lot, so I'm gonna get one of these. I don't have a backup foot cream. I need to decide which Marrakesh hair care products I'm going to get. I have one of all of theirs in my cart right now. So they have they have quite a bit available in the sale. And I have all five. There are five. I have all five um, in my cart right now. I am going to try to pick one or two of their products. And they're by Earthly Body. They also do the, there's a guava lava spray in here that I will get to. But they also do that product. They do. They, they do more than just um, hair care. They do body stuff. Uh, and and it, it, their, uh, ugh, their hair care is called Marrakesh. Um, anyways, so I wanted to also... Well, I'll get to that later. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm sick. I'm a little scatterbrained as well. I did not expect to want to try this Nuria Beauty Defend Gentle Exfoliator. This is a cleanser. I wanted to get a cleanser in this sale. And this has, this is a um, chemical exfoliator. It's got lactic acid in it. So that seems uh, really great. It only has a couple of reviews. And I think that it, the, the reviews were great. Two, five stars, two reviews. And this just looks like a company that it appeals to me. It appeals to me. I checked out their website and it appeals to me. So I'm getting one of these. I believe this is K Beauty. Is this, this one's K Beauty? There's a lot of K Beauty. Yeah, it's K Beauty. There's a lot of K Beauty in this sale. So I'm getting that one. Um, the pistache only because I <laughs> saw a comment on the forum that Tati had uh, raved about pistache products. I actually need to look into whether or not they're cruelty free. Um, but I am, um, a fan of Tati, so let's see if they're cruelty-free. I'm going to go over to cruelty-free kitty. Let's check it out. Oh, it doesn't look like she has it on her radar. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging on the pistache products. Uh, but I have both in my, in my cart. So the r and Co shampoo and conditioner. I used their moisturizer that was available in a summer sale, their moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, and it was decent. It had a perfumey, chemically perfumey smell that I did not like very much. So I'm hoping, I believe there's a salon downtown that carries r and Co. I'm going to go hopefully to smell it and see if it's something that I'm okay with. But if I if they don't have it available, I'm not gonna get it. I'm not gonna risk it. Our encode things are a little bit hit hit and miss for me. This is another cleanser that, uh, like the other cleanser I was talking about, it just really appealed to me. It only had a couple of reviews, but really good reviews. And with this 
this one in particular and this um, line in particular, they really are geared toward if you have problems with acne. So I don't have problems with acne per se, but I do get breakouts, so it appeals to me a little bit. But if you have problems with acne, I would definitely look into the skincare line. And oh my gosh, let me show you. It was so interesting. The founder looks like she's so young. I am so impressed by her. And I see that and I'm like, oh my gosh, what have I done with my life? So it watch. So here she is. This is the founder. And then check out her uh, class of 2017 from UCLA. I mean, unless they <laughs> made a mistake. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's just so amazing. Good job. Uh, so <laughs> this is that's uh, that company. I'm curious. But like I said, um, I don't really get acne per se. This, I just think, is a wonderful deal. There are no reviews on it, but you get these two products that total $114 at a 75% discount, and they it's clean, non-toxic, vegan, made in the USA. I And I don't remember when the company was established, but it was sometime in the last few years, and I just think it's a really good deal, so I am going to give it a try. I also wanted to find a vitamin C serum, and this first one right here is a vitamin C. So I wanted a cleanser and a vitamin C serum in this sale, and so this is what I'm leaning toward. I'm leaning toward this one. This, I Skin Owls, another cruelty-free, vegan, non-toxic brand. I love the shimmery look, you know, the really like glowing shoulders. So I would love to use this on my body. And then another thing, I, I'm going to leave a link to a video in the description box below that Refinery29 did about the ingredient mica. And it's really depressing if you don't want to get depressed, if you're one of those people, and I totally understand, if you're one of those people that for now would rather just, you know, ignorance is bliss, just like look away and love your makeup and not have to think about all of these other aspects of it, then don't watch it. <laughs> but I'm going to leave a link to that video. And this is what really makes me so happy. Mica note, we currently do not source any of our mica from India. 5% of the sales from the mica we source is donated to Made in the Free World, an organization that works toward ending child labor in the mica mines. So I think that that's really awesome. And yeah, I think I'm going to get that. I really want a retinol product. And here's where I'm going to mention the fact that I'm pregnant. I, uh, can't use one uh, if this uh, pregnancy is going to be successful. But I this is um, the period after opening. That's what this PAO stands for that you can check. The period after opening is 24 months. So if I buy it and I hang on to it and I don't open it, this stays good for a long, long time. And I was debating between this and the Terra Mare one they have available, but I am leaning toward this just because I've never tried anything by this company. This is another woman-owned company that's non-toxic, cruelty-free, all of that, and made in the USA, established in the last few years. Um, I This was in last call. I bought one last sale. It is amazing. This is a very good, simple makeup remover. I really like it. Look at how simple these ingredients are. Isn't that wonderful? And so for $5, I'm, I just think I'm going to get another one as a backup to one the one I have runs out. This is the wallet. They have only this one picture, which I think really short sells this. I saw on the community forum, somebody posted a picture of hers and she opened it and she showed you a few different angles and it looked like a really really nice wallet and it looks like a really good thing to have on hand as a decent gift you know for a co-worker whose birthday it is or something like that i have a stash in my closet of gifts for those moments and i am I'm not sure if I'm going to get two, but I, I, th I think this would be something great to have on hand for that kind of thing. And I don't have a wallet that I love. Maybe I'll end up loving one of them. So, and then these, this Pico. Okay. So I made a decision for myself that I am not going to be getting any of the clothes. I don't think because of this, this line right here. Oops. This line right here, this item is not eligible for return and will ship separately with, from the rest of your order. Given FabFitFun's track record with poor, poor shipping, 
I don't want to get into one of those horrible situations where I will start to get frustrated with them. And I, uh, I just, I haven't purchased any clothes from them. Some, and then another thing that people were really frustrated is, is that they don't have a sizing chart for any of the clothes available. And you can't really expect people to buy clothes online without a sizing chart. That said, <laughs> I really love the idea. This is basically sweatshirt material. I have the large in black in my cart. This is, um, somebody discovered that this is probably the brand called Stoosh, and they were able to dig online and find a sizing chart, and it's junior sizing. So there are some real detectives that share on the community forum. I highly recommend you stalk the community forum during sales. Uh, and then somebody else said that this is basically a sweatshirt that's made to look like a pea coat. That just sounds like heaven, heaven to me. <laughs> so I will probably not get it because I don't want, like I said, I don't want to get into one of those shipping nightmares, but I now have on my radar, radar wanting to get something like this. This is, this looks great. Anyway. Okay. Moving on. My friend Lauren, hi Lauren, she raves about these socks so much that I am stocking up. I don't have any Canadian friends. Well, I do through YouTube, hi Canadian friends, but I don't have any that I would hand a gift to for Christmas directly to in my personal life. And um, so I'm not getting the Canada ones, but I'm stocking up on these and then the other ones that are available as Christmas gifts. So I, and I'm keeping a pair for myself as well. I've heard that she just said that they were so amazing. Okay, so I got a sample of this, the Callus After Hours Soothing Night Cream in my Pediver box, and I opened it a couple nights ago so that I could try it for you and let you know what I think of it, and it is lovely. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it absorbs really quickly. It has a nice smell. Uh, you see here, lavender is one of the top ingredients. There's a hint of a lavender smell, but it has not hit you over the head at all, and it's so the smells subtle like it absorbs quickly it's it's very very lovely and pleasant to use I am probably going to get myself one to have as a backup for when I need it I just think this shower cap's adorable and I don't have one and I like to straighten my hair sometimes and it annoys me when the water gets on the uh, edges of my hair <laughs> anyway and it gets a little frizzy I just think this is so cute so I think I'm probably gonna get one of those this is more Marrakesh. This is a curl cream. I probably won't get this. Uh, when it has an ingredient that I tend to try to avoid, which is peg, and that will be something that will you, you will learn for yourself if you get into the cosmetic analyzer. Pegs are um, something that a handful of people that I know try to avoid. They can be toxic to our systems. But so I, I have a curl a product that I love that works so well for me. But if you are interested in Curly Girl, I also thought I would show you the Curls Bot website. If you are someone who wants to embrace your curls this and you want to explore Curly Girl, this website will analyze products for if they are Curly Girl friendly. I don't do entirely Curly Girl. I take a lot of advice from Curly Girl, but I'm not super strict. But so you can take these ingredients from this curl cream. You can go over to curlsbot.com. And this ingredient analyzer is right on the home page, and you can put paste in the ingredients and then hit submit. And this is not curly girl friendly. Silicones, uh, silicones are not curly girl friendly. And then non curly curly girl <laughs> waxes and oils detected. So this curl cream is not curly girl friendly. The curly girl method. Uh, um, and I think, you know what, oh God, but it's, see, it's maxed out. That's another thing. When I go and I think I'm going to delete something and I see it's maxed out, I hesitate. Okay. So, and then here's another Marrakesh product. Like I said, I have to decide between those. I love the earthly body line of products. I, oh, to be honest, I saw this at first and I thought it was kind of silly. A hand scrub seemed rough, but I did a collab video with my good friend Chip from Moment with Chip. I will uh, try to remember to link her channel below. But she, the collab video was our top five best and five worst products we've ever used from FabFitFun. And this was in one of her five, this was one of her five best. So now I want to get it and give it a try. 
Here's the pistache, the other pistache product uh, that I said I need to look into more. I only added it because I had seen Tati talk about pistache. And then here are the other socks. I maxed out on those. And this tote looks really cute. I have a tote that I use that it's wearing out, so I might get this to replace it. It looks large. It is pretty big. It looks, it looks great. It looks sturdy, canvas. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Okay, so that's my cart. Um, oops. So for this is the all, everything that's available in the sale. I wouldn't get an additional FabFitFun box unless you liked what was in the fall box. The editor's box, they are selling it for cheaper, they said, because we cannot make selections. It's going to be completely randomized. So I would be really, let it, let me know in the comments below if you're going to buy one because there are just a lot of duplicate products that you could end up with. Uh, oh, oh, I've heard this is really good. The pumpkin walnut facial cleanser, actually. When that's been in sales, people have been really excited. Um... Oh, and then Wish products. I like the Wish company. I haven't liked all their products, though. Anyway, so get that at your own risk. You cannot customize it within this sale. There's a possibility that it'll be available in the shop later, and you can. I don't know. Uh, mystery bundles. I bought one once. I, that was just once, and it, I won't do it again. So here are the bundles. If you see that you like at least all but one of the products in a bundle, then it's worth it. I wouldn't say it's worth it if you don't like, um, if you like all but two, it's not worth it. it to me. I wouldn't do it. So I don't like, I don't like all but, I don't like the bundles. <laughs> um, I don't, there's none of the bundles I want. This one's kind of interesting, but I don't need the particular products that are in it. Okay. Now, these are the single products. I'm going to get into telling you Everything I can remember about each of these products. People love this 10 degrees cooler line. I ended up trying this one. It was one that was raved about the most when I purchased it. People said it smelled awful and that it was worth the smell with how amazing it was. The oil is amazing. To be honest, I feel like I've used other oils that are wonderful and it's not worth it, the smell to me. I did a video where I talked about it a little bit more and I talked about why it smells and all of that. Uh, it, that video is called Stinky Skincare or Smelly Skincare or something. But I it wasn't worth it to me. I have about half of it left. One thing is I did have a cystic blemish that did go away after two weeks of using this product. I don't know if it was just going to go away on its own or if this product had something to do with it. I suspect it might have. So that's one thing. If you have a problem with cystic acne and you're one of those people that suffers from it and is desperate to try things, then you might try this and see if it works, if it's in your budget. But I'm not sure. I, I want to emphasize that I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it. Um, and then I haven't heard anything about these other products by this company smelling bad, but I have heard that they're wonderful. Um, people are saying wonderful things about this foot cream. It is uh, Ahava. It's also Israeli, cruelty-free. I, I stay away from all electronics in FabFitFun because it can be such a headache to deal with returns and uh, the people get things that don't work and then they're just stuck with it. That was in my cart. I talked about this. This I have, I remember when it was available before, I looked into it and people said it was a decent hair, hair uh, the face mask, but there weren't any rave, rave reviews. Uh, Billion Dollar Brows, uh, Orange County Company, I believe. Um, yeah, they just, they focus on brow stuff. I have brow stuff that I like. This is a K-Beauty product. And I did find some okay reviews on it, like over four out of five stars. Um, if I don't know anything about something, I'm just going to say I don't know much and gloss over it. So these are those Ciate lip flips. I am going to show, I have, I have two, I have two of these from a previous sale in different colors. These colors look really pretty. They do glitter. They're very, very glittery.
So, yes, <laughs> like very glittery. Um, one thing I noticed after wearing it for a little while was it kind of felt a little clumpy, not like, like what well, I guess clumpy. That's not the perfect word for it, but it felt like it was a, just a little clumpy and crumbly. Anyway, the lipstick did something a little bit weird after a little bit of wear on my lips. So this is a really, really high-end, expensive line of products. It's cruelty-free. It's all of those things that make me happy. But when I went to their website, there was something, and I don't want to sound judgy, but there was something a little bit pretentious about the website that turned me off a little bit. So I that was that was a really good reason for me to say, okay, <laughs> I'm going to save $59 and not get it. I don't need a face oil anyway. But those, those are the kinds of things that I use where if I'm turned off by a product, right away I'll say, yay, that's an opportunity for me to save the money so I don't get it. So there was something a little pretentious about their website that bothered me, so I'm not getting it. This is a line of products, cruelty-free, all the things I, that are wonderful that I love. They just, they don't have a lot of reviews on any of their products. They're up and coming. They're trying to get exposure. You can tell, and I no one's talking about them on the forum. They have so much available, but, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so those are the kinds of things where it's like, buy to try it out. They're, let me get this gone. The, those are the kinds of things that, like this Gaia Neon Co. Buy it to try it out. It's one of the less expensive things if that's what you want to do. But I'm not finding a lot on these products, and it doesn't seem like many people are springing for them. People seem to be putting this in their cart, though. Okay, Dermalect. Here's Dermalect. Let's see what they have in their ingredients. Let's go check these out. There's a silicone right away. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so this isn't, the, these ingredients aren't as bad as the nut cream I have from them. Uh, so yeah, Dermalect. Dermalect, see, people seem to like their products. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for this moisturizer given all the other moisturizers available in this sale. Uh, here's another Gaia by Neon Co. Um, I saw one or two people agreeing on the forum that this isn't as nearly as good as the scrub and or their hair wash. This is a leave-in hair therapy. People usually are wave raving about the DP Hue apple cider vinegar things, but I'm not seeing so much uh, rave reviews on the forum, at least about this. I have not searched it on Sephora or anything like that, so I don't know if it's... Uh, highly revered other otherwise but um uh, yeah so more Gaia these these mirrors are interesting um I think they're a little bit um risky to buy on on FabFitFun um Dr. Brandt tests on animals so I completely overlook all of their products all the time so I have not tried the Grown Alchemist eye cream. People love it. I bought one for my brother and one for my husband because it looks a little bit more masculine. Neither of them use it. Boys will be boys. <laughs> more Dr. Brandt. Um, so this, people say it works really well. Um, I bought it. I did not see any kind of change in my hyperpigmentation. So I thought, for me, it wasn't worth the money. It was not worth the money at all. Uh, Dr. Brandt, here's the uh, guava lava oil spray that I was talking about that's Earthly Body. This is the same people that make the Marrakesh stuff. I bought one in the last sale. It's very sweet. The smell is very, very sweet. So I would only ever put it like on my forearms or, you know, like one place. It's not something that I would put all over my body. And if I could go back after smelling it now, I wouldn't have bought it. I don't know. Um, 
this chip from moment with chip in that video i talked about she also put their hand cream that we got in the last box the fall box as one of her top five favorites so i think people are really into this brand i don't i just i use uh bar soap so i'm not getting it but people are seem to be into that brand human and kind this looks like a really fun new makeup company but i just decided not to get it because i don't need it this thing has tons of really good reviews like 30 five star reviews on target's website this is a k beauty facial mist it is really surprising but that's i did i talk about that that's in my cart i must have already talked about that i'm sorry i'm sick forgive me okay so these products by intoxicating they use booze to make their products these are both exfoliant the physical exfoliators that they have available there are only a couple of reviews uh good ones but only a couple error this is a cruelty free non-toxic brand from new york I have a face wash that I've used from them that grew on me, um, ish people. This is the FabFitFun makeup line. People generally across the board say it's not good makeup. So, and then the hair tools, unless you've heard about the brand or you're finding a review on it, buy at your own risk. I, I bought the new me straightener. I love it. I absolutely love it, but I found reviews on it. So if you find reviews on it, then that's great. Otherwise, just, you know, buy at your own risk. People seem to be really into this company, Freck. <clears throat> I'm very, very curious to try something from them now because of it. Uh, the, there are about 10 or 12 reviews for each of the products that are available in the sale, and they all have good reviews. I don't need any of the particular products that are available, so I'm not getting any of them, but I'm going to be on the lookout for other types of products and future sales from them and may, maybe try something. I believe this is K-Beauty again. I so far haven't gotten on board with cleansing powders. <laughs> I tried one in a video uh, recently, and it was just strange. Um, so I'm not getting that. Uh, there's more hair tools, more Gaia. Oh, so these I think are just... These are lip kits. They come with a lipstick, a lip liner, a lip gloss, and a sharpener. They are, they retail for $45 each. You can go to their website and you can look at the picture of the color. These are both, both of these colors available are nudes. I found some YouTube videos of people trying them out. They look great. I, I, I guess, maybe it's not overpriced. I guess $45 and you get four different things in it. Anyway, they look great. I just cut it because I have so many lip products. And, and they're both very light nudes, so I don't know that I would look good in a very light nude. Um, Kate Somerville is owned by a parent company that tests on animals, so I always gloss over them. Chlorine tests on animals, so I always uh, pass gloss over them. Although people do love Kate Somerville products, I can't speak to each of these particularly because I don't pay attention. I do know that this Chlorine shampoo and conditioner people love. People say great things about it. Uh, more Levito. I haven't tried all of this Levito stuff. I haven't. The only one that I've tried is the foot cream. But I do, I do suggest trying their stuff if you are interested. Um, London Town. They make a lot of nail polishes. I'm, I'm, I'm curious about the London Town brand, actually, in general. I want to try a lot of their nail polishes. I bought one in the last sale. This company, I need a reminder as to why I wrote them off, but I know that I didn't, I wasn't impressed by their website was uh, my issue. I think that I couldn't, I think that it looked like they probably aren't cruelty-free was what the deal was, but I don't want to misspeak. Let me see if I can get this here. Uh, yeah, I, I think that, um, it, I got the impression that they weren't cruelty free. They're not on cruelty free kitties site. May love. I don't need either of these oils, but may love had the glow maker and the glycolic cream and they are, an affordable company based out of San Francisco, founded by three MIT graduates recently. Here's a Marrakesh Argan Oil. If you need an Argan Oil, you're going to have to grapple over which one to get. Also, the one I have is from Trader Joe's. It's really nice. 
Barula, I tried, so I have their facial oil, which is amazing. And then I tried their hair mask, which is not amazing. It was, it's, I'm getting, I'm donating it to the women's shelter. Um, so I don't know that their hair, I don't, I wouldn't buy this if I needed a shampoo and conditioner and there were none other available. I still wouldn't buy it. That's my experience with their hair stuff. Just the one I gave that mask a fair chance to. This is by a very free-spirited young lady, this company. She's into tarot, re tarot readings. And uh, yeah, so this spray was described as having a really musky scent with like citrus overtones. I don't, I won't buy scents or fragrances online that I haven't smelled in person. Um, but her, her website's really interesting. If you're really, if you're interested in like tarot and new age, well, I don't know if new age is the right term, but you know, crystals and things like that, go check her out. She's interesting young, young lady. Uh, so the jewelry on FabFitFun, I pretty much won't get it. Some can be good, but for the re what just it just bothers me that the retail price is often like fifty eight dollars, and you go and you look at the materials that it's made out of, and it's like rhodium plated brass. It's brass. I mean, you can go to Claire's, go to Claire's and buy a necklace that looks like this for ten dollars, and it'll be probably about the same kind of quality. I mean, I don't know. That's probably a gross. That's I'm sure that's a gross overstatement. But it just bothers me that they would have the audacity to list that kind of a retail price with these kinds of materials. This should be solid sterling silver. And the company is called Sterling Forever. And there's nothing sterling silver about this. Anyway, some of the jewelry can be really good. And I always get a comment where somebody says, I actually have this necklace that is really, really nice and it's holding up well. So, and, and I have never purchased a piece of jewelry because of what I see online. So take that for what it is, but that helps me also not spend more on the sale. <laughs> Milk, I've heard people really split on this uh, line of products. Some people love it. Some people seem to hate it. And then also, I think I saw somebody say that you, they found this elsewhere for just as much or cheaper. This is a British brand. Um, Here's more of that new age, new age, there I said it again, um, that, that woman who did, did the other room spray that does tarot and all of that. Mud Masky, they're from the Netherlands and they have one product that was like a hit and then all of their other products don't seem to be taken off like the other one. I think the one that was a hit might be this one actually, but look into their company, they're, they're cruelty free and all of that. Murad's owned by Unilever, so I don't look at their stuff. Uh, this seems like a super affordable line of products. There's the Nuri. Yeah, I'm going to probably get the cleanser. Ovation, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know much about patchology. There was a video of a woman who this, this did uh, wreaked havoc on her skin, actually. She got some pretty bad skin damage when she used this. There's a YouTube video. If I remember, I will link it in my description box. If I don't, just go ahead and do a YouTube search. It'll pop up. This is another up and coming, up and coming company, I believe in from San Diego. Um, and, and not a lot of reviews, that whole deal. Perlise, people like Perlise. Um, R&Co. R&Co always does a video for every product on YouTube. This was, they tested this on a woman with short hair. I couldn't relate. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting, I'm, yeah, R&Co doesn't, it seems to be hit and miss, like I said. <laughs> I remember this has been available in a few sales and it does not seem to be a well-loved hair mask. Revitalash, cruelty free, all of that good stuff. They make eye products, eye lash stuff, eye cream stuff, eye primer stuff. Okay, so this line looked really fun, and then I looked at their website, and here, let's. I'm gonna show you. I looked at their website, and they were not marketing toward my age group. <laughs> I mean, this main page. These girls are about 15 years old, probably. 
They're not marketing toward my age group. This looks like prom. This looks like high school musical. So that was right away just an easy way for me to say, okay, not for me and save my money. Um, other than that, I do think that they had some decent reviews. There's Rosen. I'm getting that. Seed. I bought the facial cream in the last sale and I just haven't gotten around to needing to use it yet. I saw them at Whole Foods. They're newer. They're awesome. They're sustainable. All of that. Seraphine is as well. And what is really cool about this brand is if you yourself are interested in getting into creating some sort of beauty product, there was a, on their about page a little blurb with an email saying, if you would like to buy ingredients from bulk, reach out to us and let us know and we can work with you to help you start your own company. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, this is K-Beauty. Uh, not a lot of reviews and decent enough. Skin Authority. I was reading their website. So again, all of the stuff that matters to me. But then I looked at their website. They had their about was just so long and so many trademarks and so many terms. I just I wanted simpler. I wanted simpler and they lost me. So I didn't. I stopped looking at their stuff. This one, I believe, is another K-Beauty newer. Yep. K-Beauty, newer, all the wonderful things, uh, just newer, not a lot of, it's woman owned also, um, Skin Owl, I don't know about this whitening system, there's Sponge Owls, uh, here's Terramera, I love Terramera, I was really tempted to get this, but I decided to lay off, I got a couple of Terramera products last time, I haven't tried any of the ones available, blech, any of the ones available here except for this one, and I don't like it. Um, there was the first time I used it, I actually liked it. And then there's just something about the scent I do not like. I do not like it. Um, it's kind of it's coconut-y, and then it smells like Malibu rum, but without the rumminess. And but I think the association with Malibu rum kind of grossed me out. I don't like to drink alcohol, so maybe that was also a bias I have. And then also something that is not clear. From this description or the description on their website, Tara Mara's website, is that this is for oily skin. If I can zoom in here, right here, this writing that you can't quite make out, it says for oily skin. And that was a big bummer when I got mine in the mail. But I used it anyway. And I don't think that it, it doesn't feel too drying for me and I have dry skin. It feels like it's fine. <laughs> but that's something else to note. There's more of the Better Skin Co. Woman owned. I'm probably going to get and hang on to their retinol. I've heard that this one, Dirty Lamb, it's also woman owned, non -cruel, uh, non toxic, cruelty free, all of that good stuff. And I've I think that I've seen it at TJ Maxx. And I've seen I saw someone on the forum say the same thing. So check out check out your TJ Maxx. See if you see it there. Here's more Lifestyle Co. They have a few products available. They have this makeup remo remover that I raved about, and I'm getting another one of. Um, I don't know. I remember in some sales ago, people saying that this This Works brand was good, but no one's talking about it in this sale. No one is. Um... Oh, here are the clothes, no sizing charts, and they're kind of trying to get you to look at toward their box of style subscription. <coughs> More jewelry. I gave my <laughs> I gave my spiel on jewelry. Some of it's really, really cute though. And I I don't I don't ever get clothes. I mean not clothes. These these wouldn't ship separately. These would just ship from the warehouse. I don't really ever get accessories. I'm I usually lean more toward the skincare, more jewelry. These kinds of things I feel like I can get on Amazon and just find something either like the same price, different brand, doesn't really matter. I don't feel like I need to get that stuff from here. The travel on bags, they look really cool. You, these are also on Amazon, and I was seeing some at the same price of, available on Amazon that they have them here. So, the Tribe Alive, Tribe Alive is an awesome brand. Um, I was curious about this wallet. It looks really nice, but then I thought it looked a little bit like it didn't hold much. 
Um, more jewelry. I yeah. Oh, the people are saying wonderful things about this throat spray. So I'm not gonna get it. But and if you're a vegan, uh, Propolis is not vegan. These are just like those Brooke Burke body sliders that were available that not that that were in our box um, in our fall 2018 box a long time ago. That's what these are. These look really cool. Those look pretty. But you can probably find those on Amazon too. Uh, couches. Let me know if you're going to get furniture. Um, I haven't. No one says much about their kitchen stuff. Oh, people love these. Oh, they have a king. This one's king size. People love these. So these are beanbag chairs that unfold into beds. And people are loving these. So, um, yeah, they're expensive, but I've, people love them. Um, again, more trinkets. I feel like I could just find this stuff on Amazon at comparable prices. And then I would have the security of my Prime membership and the ability to send it back easily. So I don't mess with doing that stuff on FabFitFun at all. No, thank you. Same. Oh, the Mark and Graham throw was a came in like a our winter box last year, I believe. Some people really like it. It's very lightweight and it snags really easily, is what I hear. I gave it to my mother in law for Christmas. Um, I didn't like it. Oh, people say that these bowls are more useful than they ever imagined they would be, and that they're stocking up. The lawn dress when this first appeared in the sale it was just their standard detergent people went bonkers and now no one is talking about them <laughs> and, and they're still available <clears throat> this snuggy blanket looks kind of cool compression socks would be cool that's a good price for compression socks um and then you know some of these are would be fine to buy but for the most part, I just look at these and I think I can find something comparable on Amazon with the security of being able to send it back. Um, oh, I'm, I would love, I'm so glad to know that something like this exists. This is a mount for the back of your car seat headrest or car, your headrest in your car so that you can mount a tablet and keep your little one busy while you drive. Okay, so we're done here. We got some more bundles, more Cirque Cell. That's the one that I, the website just turned me off felt a little pretentious I I like the daily concept stuff I have some gloves that are exfoliating and I think they might be available in the sale and then I have a towel wrap that my friend Lauren sent to me in a gift box it was so sweet this is a company that is K it's K it's K I don't it's not really beauty it's um they make products for ladies for feminine lady time uh, so I thought that was kind of neat. These, are, this mirror is good if you're like a blogger or you do get ready with me's on YouTube. I don't, I don't even really want it. And I do get ready with me's on YouTube. People love this stuff. I just personally am one of those people. There are two kinds of people in this world. People who like scalp scrubs and people who don't. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, but I think that they can be really helpful with people who suffer from dandruff and maybe even psoriasis. Um, I was tempted to get this, but then I thought I don't need to spend $11 on a tinted lip gloss. I have my Jouer lip hydration treatment that I put on at night and that's enough for me right now. Um, Dr. Brent, not cruelty free. Human and kind. There it is again. People are liking that stuff. This is uh, another K Beauty. Yep, this is another K Beauty. Are these the same people that made that face spray? I'm not sure, but this is another K Beauty. Newer, all of the wonderful things. More ish. Here's the Kalos. Um, I gifted this. This is Kalos as well, and it is a rose mist spray and I gave it away for to a coworker for a birthday because I'm just kind of over the rose face sprays. Here's more Marula hair care. I talked about that. People love Perlice stuff. Oh, so the Badlands dry shampoo paste. People are not saying good things about this. The uh, people that did say, talk about it said it seemed like 
it could work if you had like really really short hair with the way it it acts I guess it maybe it acts like a pomade or something where it's really sticky and yeah uh, oh, and then I watched a video of the, using the curl primer on on uh, R and Co's YouTube, and it just they don't, I don't know they don't sell to me very well R and Co. Uh, the sponge gel, Summer and Rose, Summer and Rose is FabFitFun's brand. This was I was tempted to I was debating between this retinol moisturizer and the retinol that I showed you that I am going to try. And I ended up choosing the other one simply because I haven't tried anything by that line of products before. And it was $5 cheaper. <laughs> I have not heard. I'm, I'm surprised to see this sold out. People did not say good things at all about this when it was available before. But it's sold out. Beauty Crop. Um, their stuff's made in China. I think that they are an English company. I got their lip glosses. I did a whole video about it. Their stuff's okay. It's cruelty free. Uh, stuff can be made in China and still be cruelty free. It's just whether or not it's sold in China if it's cruelty free. Um, yeah, so these look, these look pretty. I just didn't end up wanting them because I'm very particular about my lipstick being long lasting. More beauty crop. They're okay. This is another newer company. All the good things. Newer. Not a lot of reviews. Oh, and then this is, um, this is baby stuff. And I really wanted to try it, but I just found out. So I'm not going to start buying things until maybe the second or third trimester. But anyway, the Betsy Johnson slippers are cute. Or not slippers, socks are cute. This purse, this purse I wanted so bad, and then I just said, it's perfect. It's perfect. I wanted one in each color, and then somebody on the forum said that the FabFitFun purses, they've had a couple, and they have always just been really poor quality, so now I just know of a style of purse. I've just, I dumped it from my cart, and I said, okay, now I just know that I really want a purse like that, and I will look for one, hopefully at Goodwill. I love Goodwill scores. Nothing feels better than a good Goodwill score. I bought this in one of the sales and I have not used it once. Not once. It's kind of uncomfortable to wear for me. Uh, it's extremely lightweight. I don't know how because it's really strong. I don't know what it's made of. Stainless steel? Wow. It's really lightweight. Anyway, I haven't, I haven't used it once. It was just one of those things. More travel on but in cute colors. These are sterling silver with cubic zirconia. These, this I would buy. This I would buy, sterling silver with cubic zirconia. Okay, $29, $98. Those prices make sense to me for that jewelry. <laughs> this is a yoga block in case you, oh, it says it here, but I know I saw some people kind of confused by it. These uh, are, this is a beaker with three lip glosses. I thought that was, I was like, okay, <laughs> sure, thanks. <laughs> Um, I don't know anything about the oils. Uh, this people are really loving. People raving about it, excited it's in the sale again. I just use an ice pack or a heating pad. That's basically what it's for. Uh, this, people say that this deodorant works. I do know that there are people in the past who have, issue, have had issues with the packaging not working very well. Um, I don't know. And then we got some furniture. People love the poopery. Uh, and then that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that this was helpful. I'm sorry that I'm sick. I feel much more scatterbrained than usual. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Say hello in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.